radicals down here. And this is the last one sitting at the table. Radicalized Islam. Islam, as it's done in the Middle East, they have the oil, but they also have something else that is a trump card, and that is God. I should, I should make that. They have faith. <laughs> they have faith on their side. I like it when an American person, he make a speech and he try to be the uh, genuine, uh, uh, like, uh, expert who people should listen to him and he is educated and he knows things you do not know, which is very funny. First of all, in here I like when he ex the God and he put faith. Uh, secondly, you know, when somebody says uh, Islam, Islam, what Islam? That is showing me the, 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 the ignorance of those people. This guy is speaking about Islam as, uh, as people. When the fact Islam is many sect, it's not one religion, there's hundreds and thousands of Islamic religion inside Islam. So when we say Islam, and he just said Middle East, <clears throat> when the Middle Eastern Muslims are not even 10% of the total Muslims. So what, what this guy is talking about, the 10% of, of the Middle East is the one is Islam, that is a stupid, ignorant thing to say. This is number one. Number two, when you say they have the oil, who said that they have the oil, you idiot? They don't. They don't. Do you know that we have oil more than them? What, what, what those people are talking about? Unbelievable, man. Number three. Like, and know, you know, by the way, we do not use our oil. In USA, we have oil more than them. We have oil is enough for the coming 100 years. This is what we discover already. And God knows how, how much we have we did not discover yet. Number three. The oil in the Middle East, how long is going to last? Like 20, 25 years? It's over. Almost the source of oil is really over. So what, you know, and he says that Islam is going to be the winner. What is, this is very weird, very stupid, you know, a statement of those who go on TV and try to fool people by presenting themselves as the smart, educated one. Number one, Islam is main religion. And Islam, not only one religion, each one of them is not peaceful, which means this religion is going to destroy each other as a must. And actually, it's not going. It is destroying each other. You know, there's more than 500 million Shia. And there's more than 200 million Ahmadiyya. And there's more than 80 million Druze. And there's more than 100 million Isma Ismailiyya. And there's no, you know, there's tons of, of Islamic sect. So when you consider all as Muslims, you are fooling yourself and fooling others. Because each one of them, he considered the others are not Muslims. Even Muhammad himself, my nation will be 73 sect. One of them is Muslims and the rest are not. The rest will go to hell. The rest will go to hell. Why? Because they are Muslims. Actually, maybe this is the only prophecy Muhammad, he said, is kind of accurate because it's not totally accurate because the number of 73 is exceeded long time ago. There's thousands of Islamic sect. Nobody actually can count them. No way I can count to you how many Islamic sect are exist. So number one, Islam is not one religion and that's why it can't be really a threat to anyone because the one cannot be united, cannot be a threat to anything. Number two, even the Islamic Sunni, which means, uh, let us say, inside each sect, the big sect, have many small sects inside and they are fighting each other. Like when you say, he said radical Muslims, which is very funny. You know, radical Muslims, okay, how many Muslims are not radical? And what do you mean by radical? And who is the radical? You want to say to me, Al-Qaeda? Yeah, this is not true. There's radical have many forms, but at the end of the day, those radical they fight each other too. So they fight each other, which means Muslims fighting Muslims, and then we will see that Muslim non radical they fight the Muslim radical violently. I'm not talking about uh, debate in text and debate in speeches. No, Muslims don't do that. Muslims most their 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 debate is killing. I take over you, or you take over me. Uh, and we see we see groups of of power in 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 the Islamic countries. We don't see Islamic uh, uh, power. We see group, and those are groups. Each one of them claim to be Muslims because God always there is the toy to use. You know, every whore when I when I grab a sex toy and use it and says, "This is the God who uh, make me happy," and this is my God. So there are many uh, 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 groups, hundreds, thousands, and each one of them have their own. Uh, leaders and they have their own agenda and they are not united 
So when you talk about Islam as if it's a country, it's false. When you talk about Islam as if it's a people, it's false. When you talk about Islam as if it's one nation, it's false too, because Muslims are divided big time. The division is beyond even explanation. So now the Muslim Sunni, they, they, in general, all of them, they agree that the Muslim Shia are not Muslims and they have to be killed. And now if we take actually our hands from the Middle East, if America take their hands and, and England and France, uh, the Middle East was going to be burned. You know, I will give you an example about what Middle East he is talking about. Not long time ago, Saddam Hussein attacked Kuwait and he took Kuwait. So if USA did not involve, Saddam Hussein and Saudi Arabia will be fighting until now. And millions of people will die. Saddam Hussein, he have a war with Iran for nine years. More than two million people get killed. This is why the population of Iraq is 24 million after thousands of years of civilization. Like, do you ask yourself why the number of the country don't grow when those people they have a lot of kids? Because they cannot live in peace. Same as Saudi Arabia, after all those years, the real Saudi are not even nine millions. The rest are people who live there to work. Why the population is so small? Because they, they, they die in war. They cannot live in peace. The only reason for them now they, they are, they, they are like having peace is America. America, the big guy, is spanking the one who tried to play games there. That's it. This is why you, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, Emirat, all of them, their security is based in USA. Everybody know that. It's not, it's not a secret. So how you can say to me that those people can be a threat when they cannot even secure their own land? Number two, when you speak about they having oil, uh, you forgot that we have oil more than them. You forgot that Russia have oil more than them. You forgot that even oil is not going to be important soon. You know, just to, to refresh the memory of people, because uh, one day countries used to go for war over salt. You believe it or not? Imagine salt, not gold. Salt was very important to the point people they get for war just to get salt. And they used to exchange salt with jewelries. Salt today is a joke. Like, who cares for salt? So what happened? What was important became nothing. What about uh, coal? You know, like, you know, one day all the trains, all the manufacturers used to work by, by, by burning the thing. Suddenly, it became nothing. Why? Because the oil came. And the same is going to happen to the oil. Soon something else is going to come. And soon something else is going to take over. And then oil became nothing. In the top of that, oil in the Middle East is going to disappear very soon. It's very, very soon, actually. Not only soon. Like when we say, when we say about timing of uh, history of, of, uh, of nations, uh, speaking about 30 or 40 years, this is very soon. You know, yesterday I was a kid. You know, if you look at your age, you know, yesterday I was a kid, today I'm a growing man. So time go very fast and time mean nothing. And those people, they will be out of oil very soon. And even the money they have is not going to be enough for their own needs because population is increasing. They have no security. They have no, uh, no high tech. They cannot ma make their own weapon. And weapon is the most important thing actually for those people because security there is always number one issue to worry about, more than the food. Iran is in the border. Iran is a Shia country and is going to eat all those Muslim Sunni because they, are, they cannot be even in competition with them. With the Iranian, so uh, uh, they they make a story out of nothing. Try to prove, you know, to to show you that they are uh, people who knows, listen to us. We know things. He spoke about China. He spoke, you know, and in the same time, he speak about if Islam as not only one religion, as if it's the only faith is exist in this earth. When the fact the fastest growing faith in this earth is Christianity. Many of you do not know. How many Muslims, you know, Africa, by the way, used to be 80% Muslims. Africa today, Muslims are 15%. It's a fact. You might see in YouTube people converting to Islam because, you know, those who convert to Islam, Muslims spread their video all over. They are not worried for their life. But those who leave Islam is actually a lot more and nobody posts this video because they will get killed. This is the issue. Otherwise, if not Islam is, is in a third religion, you will find hundreds of thousands of, of videos from a Jazeera TV actually I can go right now to a Jazeera TV just type 6 million Muslim convert to Christianity and this is a Jazeera TV a Jazeera TV and you know they are saying they themselves that 
16,000 16, Muslims, they leave Islam a day. A day. 667 an hour. So, uh, uh, Islam actually is shrinking very fast. Uh, and, and, you know, we, we are able to go inside the Middle East big time with the help of the internet and satellite, which was not exist for the last 1,400 years. For the last 1,400 years, you know, we have no ability to go inside those countries. So there's a big change is happening. China is coming to Christianity. Uh, and, and the funny, by the way, uh, in the beginning, the European, they went to Africa as missionaries to invite people to Christ. Today, the African is the one is going to Europe, and they are the one is pre you know preaching and teaching European pe people who uh, uh, stay away from God about God. And we notice actually in the last few years that uh, uh, Christians and Christianity is really getting stronger and stronger in Europe, which was abandoned for a long time because of the atheism who took over all those countries. And this is why you see. That those who they the, they call them the, the the right the right parties in the Western countries are the one is winning in every election. Like for the first time, the left uh, 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 parties uh, they win in France after what after more than twenty years. And you go all other the other countries, you will see the one is winning is the right wing parties, which mostly are the Christians. So. Uh, people speaking about faith, speaking about uh, uh, changes, speaking about oil, they are just showing their ignorance. Because, uh, like as an example, by the way, uh, Israel discovered one of the biggest, uh, 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 you know, source of gas in the world. So Israel soon is going to be number one, maybe provider of gas in the Middle East. And Israel is a very powerful country. So how you take Israel off the map too? How you take those who have the most powerful, and they have faith too. You know, are you going to say the Jews don't have God, don't have faith? So, uh, uh, statements is false. Islam is very weak. Islam is not one religion. Islam is not one nation. And Islam is not one people. And Islam is killing Islam. If we go right now and search for, uh, uh, you know, uh, war in Syria or war in Libya, or what's happening in, in, in Egypt, or what happened in Algeria. Do you know in Algeria more than 2 million people are get killed already? Muslims killing Muslims, nobody speak about it. You know, so, so people, they are very funny, very weird, when they speak, trying to claim knowledge for you. If you want to learn, ask those who knows. And don't, don't take by, what, you know, those people on TV, they want to make money. They are there, they are show people. They're trying to make their programs attractive, but doesn't mean really their programs is telling the truth. We need to remember always that, for me as a Christian, God is not about winning a war. For at the end anyway, the only one is going to win is him. This is number one. Number two, uh, evil cannot really, cannot win anything. Because the first thing evil do, hurting itself. And this is exactly what Islam is doing to itself. This is why, you know, Muslims really, they, don't, they cannot even establish anything. Go to Islamic countries, they have nothing. After all this, all they have. They have nothing. They are still illiterate. They are still behind cave time. They are still away from every, every civil life. And they are still far away from winning any war with anyone. You know, how you say Islam is a winner when 6 million Jews are fighting 1 billion Muslims? If we make them one nation, if they throw rocks at them, they will win a war. How they cannot win a war? Because simply, it is not your calculation who you try to be smart, which is ready to be accounted. Your, 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 uh, your calculation is very wrong, it's very uh, short, and you are not even capable of doing such a thing. Just I wanted to share this with you guys and uh, follow with me with more videos and i hope soon we will see china became the biggest giant country and all of africa soon is going to be pure christian land and i hope soon the middle east too as we see in iran how christianity is spreading very fast and muslims are trying to stop people from converting to islam by killing them christ is lord islam is false Amen.